Algebra word problems number 13, variables on both sides of the equal sign. Sometimes when we're trying to solve word problems, our equation will come out that there's variables on each side of the equal sign. Well, don't doubt yourself. You didn't make a mistake. They come out that way sometimes. When variables are on both sides of an equation, both sides of the equal sign, the first thing we need to do, step one, is to move those variables to the same side. Usually to the left, but they go to the right. So to move it, we just move it. But we must change the sign in front of it. So this 3x minus 5 equals 2x, we're going to move this 3x to this side, but we've got to change it to a negative 3x. It's a positive now, and then we'll get the negative 5 by itself. This will move over here, but we have to put a negative sign in front of it. Then we need to combine these like terms. If we have a positive 2x, and have a negative 3x that is taken from it, it's going to put us down in the hole into the negative numbers. We're going to take away one too many for it to stay positive. So now we have a negative x. You know, we don't write that invisible 1 in front of it. It normally would have been a negative 1x, right? So now we just have negative x. So we've got negative 5 equals negative x, which is the same thing as 5 equals x. So when a variable is in more than one term, the separate terms can be combined by adding or subtracting the coefficients as it tells us to do so. We have to be on the lookout for variables that can be combined. And we have to remember that any inverse operation done on one side of the equation needs to be done on the other side, and think of it like a scale that we need to maintain our balance, okay? So here's our word problem. Tala has money in a savings account. If she adds $50 a month for six months, she'll have three times the amount she has now, not counting the interest. How much money M does Tala have in her account now? All right, so M is going to be the money now, all right? I'm going to break this apart in a few words at a time. So we think she has a bank account, okay, we understand that. And it says if she adds $50, well, that means she's going to plus $50. Now it says, to her money now. So we have to think that it's being added to her M, to her money now, if she adds $50 a month, okay? So keep in mind that that money is already sitting in the account, and she's adding this $50 to it. So now we have M plus 60. It says she's going to add it a month for six, each month for six months. So that means there's going to be $50 each time for six months. That means we need to multiply the $50 by six. So now we have the original money plus $50 for six months every month, okay? And it says she will have, she will have. Well, that means it's gonna equal. That tells us that whatever we're doing here is gonna equal in the end. That's, what she, that's how much she'll have, the total. And it's not counting the interest, okay? But it says three times the amount she has now. So it's going to equal three times the amount she has now. So we know it's three times. And if the M means money now, it's 3M. Now we have our equation. We've got M plus the $50 for each six months, and it equals three times the money she has now. Now we have variables on each side of the equal sign, don't we? So let's get to work. The first thing we're going to do is multiply the $50 times the 6. I'm going to get that out of the way. We can see that it's $300. Now, we're going to move this M to this side of the equal sign. Now, why wouldn't we move this one over here? Well, because then there wouldn't be anything there. See? We would just have 4M equals 300. Now, we could do it that way. You could figure it out that way. If we had 4M equals 300, couldn't we just divide each side by 4? Well, that's not going to work. It won't work. Because they're not on each side of the equal sign. See? It's not that 4m equals it. What we'd have is 4m plus 300. And we don't know what m is, do we? So we wouldn't be able to solve that. So this 3m cannot go to this side. This one has to go to this side. That way we can balance it on our scale with the equal sign in the middle and be able to solve it, okay? 
So let's move this guy over here, but he's a positive, so now he's going to become a negative. And remember, there's that invisible 1 in front of him. So if we have 3m and we take away an m, we're going to have 2m. Ah, there we go. Now we have $300 equals 2m. Now because the 2 and the m means multiply 2 times the money now, the opposite of multiplication, the inverse operation, is division. So we need to divide both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2 to get that m by itself. So we're going to do that. We divide by 2, and we divide by 2, and we get 300 divided by 2 is 150. 2 divided by 2 is a 1, and that puts our invisible 1 in front of the m. So now we have m. So now we know that Tala has $150 in her savings account right now. So remember, when we move the variable to the other side of the equal sign, change that sign in front of it, plus or minus, whatever it is, and then do your math, okay? If we check this to make sure it's right, M, $150, plus the $300, yep, is going to equal 3 times M, 3 times the 150. Yeah, here's 1, and then there's two of them in here. 150 and 150 makes 300, so we know that there's three 150s on this side and on this side. So we did it right, okay? So just remember, change the sign when you move that variable over to the other side of the equal sign, and you'll be fine, all right? We're going to keep going. We're going to jump to the next topic, and I'll see you there. Bye.